In the quiet neighborhood of Plaza Midwood, Charlotte, a tragedy was about to unfold. Plaza Midwood, an enclave of peace and community spirit tucked away in the heart of Charlotte, North Carolina, is a place where neighbors know each other by name. Its tree-lined streets are filled with the sounds of children's laughter and the smell of home-cooked meals. It's a place where security is felt and community ties are strong. But beneath the idyllic surface there lurks an unseen horror. A horror that would shatter the tranquility of this close-knit community and leave an indelible mark on its psyche. As the sun set on the evening of October 2016, a chilling silence descended upon Plaza Midwood. The usual hum of life was replaced by an eerie stillness. The laughter and chatter that typically echoed through the streets had faded into the night, and an unsettling quietness took hold. It was the kind of quiet that sends a shiver down your spine, the kind that leaves you feeling uneasy and on edge, the kind of quiet that serves as a grim harbinger of the unspeakable terror to come. The residents of Plaza Midwood were unaware that their peaceful neighborhood was about to become the stage for a horrifying act of violence. In the midst of this unsettling tranquility, a familiar face in Plaza Midwood was making her way home. She was a beloved local, a beacon of positivity and love, known for her infectious laughter and unwavering spirit, a woman whose life was tragically cut short in the prime of her youth. It was here on this seemingly normal night in October 2016, that the life of a beloved local was brutally extinguished. Katie Jones, a vibrant soul well known in her community, was the victim of this tragic crime. A life brimming with potential was abruptly extinguished one cool October night in 2016. Katie wasn't just a name on a case file, she was a beloved member of the Charlotte community. Known for her infectious smile and a buoyant personality, Katie was a familiar face at the popular Midwood Smokehouse, where she worked as a waitress. A woman of many talents, she had a knack for making every guest feel special, remembered names, favorite orders, and always had a kind word to spare. Her colleagues admired her work ethic and her uncanny ability to uplift the mood of the entire restaurant, even during the busiest shifts. Beyond the confines of her workplace, Katie was a beacon of love and resilience her spirit etched into the hearts of those who knew her. She was the kind of person who would go out of her way to help others, always ready with a helping hand or a comforting word. Her laughter was infectious, her spirit indomitable. She was a cherished friend, a beloved daughter, a valued community member. Kitty's life was woven into the fabric of Charlotte's Plaza Midwood neighborhood. She was an integral part of the community, her presence as familiar as the local landmarks. Her absence left a gaping hole, a palpable sense of loss that echoed in the empty streets and hushed conversations. Her life, as vibrant and dynamic as the city she called home, was stolen in a senseless act of violence. The shockwaves of her loss rippled through the community, leaving friends and family grappling with the cruel reality of her absence. A beacon of positivity, Kitty Jones was a woman whose absence would be deeply felt. In the wake of such a tragedy, we remember not the circumstances of her death, but the radiant life she lived. And as we delve deeper into this case, we hold on to the image of Ketty Jones, a woman of resilience, a pillar of her community, and a life unjustly stolen. The identity of the killer, however, remains shrouded in mystery. In the quest to unmask this shadowy figure, the authorities have left no stone unturned. The investigation still ongoing is marked by a frustrating lack of solid leads. It's as if the perpetrator vanished into thin air, leaving behind nothing but the chilling echo of their violent act. Some believe that this was a crime of opportunity, a random act by a predator lurking in the darkness. Others theorize it may have been an attempted robbery gone horribly wrong. Yet, despite the multitude of theories, the truth remains just beyond reach. The community too has been deeply involved in the search for answers. Friends, neighbors, and even strangers have rallied together, their collective efforts fueled by a desire for justice and a need to make sense of the senseless. They've combed through every detail of that fateful night, hoping to uncover a clue that might lead them to the killer. Even as the months turn into years, the case refuses to go cold. Each new day brings fresh determination a renewed vow to not let Kitty's death be in vain. 
The resolve of the investigators remains unbroken, their pursuit of justice unwavering. Yet the killer continues to elude them. This phantom figure, hidden in the shadows, has managed to avoid the penetrating gaze of the law. It's a chilling reminder of how, sometimes, the monsters we fear aren't just figments of our imagination. They walk among us, unseen and unknown. Despite the passage of time, the shadowy figure who ended Kitty's life remains elusive. The ripples of Kitty's loss continue to spread, touching the hearts of those who knew her. The void left by her absence is palpable, a haunting reminder of a life abruptly ended, a story left incomplete. In the wake of her death, her friends and the community have rallied to seek justice. They've turned their grief into action, their sorrow into a force for good. They've established a scholarship in Kitty's name, a beacon of hope to illuminate the darkness left in her wake. It's a testament to her spirit of love and resilience, a legacy that transcends her untimely demise. But justice has proven elusive. The search for Kitty's killer continues, a relentless pursuit for answers, for closure. It's a quest fraught with frustration, with the specter of the unknown casting a long shadow over the community. The motive remains a mystery, the identity of the perpetrator still hidden. Was it a random act, a senseless act of violence, or was there a sinister intent lurking behind the shadows? The impact of the unresolved case on the community is profound. It's a chilling reminder of the fragility of life, of the uncertainty that lurks in the corners of our everyday existence. It's a wound that refuses to heal, a scar etched deep into the heart of Plaza Midwood, Charlotte. Yet in the face of this adversity, the community remains steadfast. They've rallied together, their collective strength a bulwark against the tide of despair. They refuse to let Katie's memory fade into oblivion, her spirit extinguished by the brutal act that claimed her life. Though Katie is gone, her spirit lives on in the actions of those who loved her. Her legacy continues to inspire, to drive the quest for justice, to fuel the hope that one day, the truth will emerge from the shadows, and Katie's killer will be brought to justice. In the face of such a tragic loss, it is important to remember not just how Katie died, but how she lived. Katie Jones was not just a name in a crime report. She was a vibrant woman whose light shone brightly, touching everyone she met. Kitty was known for her love for life, her vivacity, and her infectious laughter that could brighten even the gloomiest of days. She was a popular waitress at the Midwood Smokehouse, where she served not just food and drinks, but also dollops of joy and warmth. Her customers would often leave with their bellies full and their hearts lighter, thanks to her radiant spirit. Her resilience was another trait that defined her. Life threw many challenges her way, but she faced them all with a smile and a determination that was nothing short of inspiring. She was a fighter who believed in the power of positivity and never let adversity dull her sparkle. But perhaps the most beautiful thing about Ketty was the impact she had on those around her. She was a friend, a confidant, a source of comfort and joy. She had the ability to make people feel special, heard, and loved. And that's why, even today, her absence leaves a void that's hard to fill. In tribute to Ketty, her friends and community have established a scholarship in her honor. This scholarship isn't just a financial aid, it's a testament to her spirit of love and resilience a way to keep her memory alive and a beacon of hope for those who aspire to live life with as much gusto as she did. Her killer remains at large, a grim reminder of the justice that still eludes her, but her spirit lives on in the hearts of those she touched, in the scholarship that bears her name, and in the quest for justice that continues to this day. Kitty Jones, a beacon of love and resilience, your loss is a cruel reminder of the fleeting nature of life.